Alright, so as you can see, after applying a second layer of the off-white, but doing a broader um, spray, I was able to get the desired effect, as you can see here. If you look at that. Some parts came out okay, but some are a little too obvious. I'm reviewing this small amount right now because I'm going to do a second pass. This one I don't have to worry about to a certain degree because this, you know, will have some of the armored parts of the colors of the uh, red and I believe yellow. Or is it? I keep forgetting the. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, the the red and the yellow parts. Um, this one came out okay. I really like how it the, the, it came out. I, I just was a bit of a, uh, afraid that certain parts were going to be way too shaded looking and others will not. Preferably, uh, preferably around the, the legs. Like, for example, this part here. This came out amazing how it came out. But as I look at other parts... Some is obvious. Some are obvious, while others are not. So that's why I need to redo another pass, just so I can say I did it, and I, you know, don't tend to make a mistake. Uh, parts like this one, I don't have to worry about because it's going to be covered up by the remaining of the part of the foot. Um, what's another example here that I could show you? Um, well, basically a lot of examples here. Oh yeah, like. Like for the example, this one, and let me see if I could find the other part. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Let me see. There we go. So the casing for the Gatling guns on on the of uh, on the shoulders. Uh, this came out nice, and if I put this one here, that came out okay as well. But there's that little blob there. I don't know if the camera can see it. And because of the, the, there it is, you see right there? It, it doesn't look right. So, that is something that I need to look at, review. Also, and this is something that is a bane in my existence. Sometimes, and i got to find a good example here. Was it this one? I believe it's so. Sometimes. During the course of you airbrushing, you'll see a little particle of a, f of a hair or, or some sort of filament in the air that will cause it to mess up the part. And then I said, oh, I can't, I can't wipe that off because there's paint on it. So like this one came out like that and I didn't like it. I'm trying to find the example here, but I can't seem to look at it. This one needs to be passed. A lot of them needs to be repassed. This is so partially not cool for me. Well, like over here, that there's a little bit of a filament that I can actually roll off with the finger and that doesn't seem to be, you know... Probably use a, a, a little bit of a, um, a lint cloth or anything like that to help me out. Um, there's one part that I did, that one part of the kit that I did that I had to, I had to assemble and uh, paint because I was afraid that the painting would not look good if I did it individually and that was the head as you can see right there that came out really good right now it's being held up by the putty inside by the uh, sticky tack I mean but yeah that one I, I'm, I'm enjoying that one and here's of course the the face mask which I try to put a little panel lining in there, you know, see if I can get a light pass, but it's definitely going to need to be panel lined, detailed panel lining right there. Uh, yeah. All right. So once I repass everything with the with the off white color, I'm going to top coat it immediately, just to get that clo you know, sealed up and done. With I'm going to use and. Just bear with me while I tell you this. I'm going to use the Aqua Gloss Clear. Why am I using Gloss Clear on it? Well, think about it. 
if you've got a panel in it, you would want it glossy so that way when the ink goes down the grooves and the panel lining, it goes down nice and smooth. Therefore, I'm going to use that to once I apply the decals and then the panel lining, I will then, of course, top coat it using Tester's Spray Lacquer, which is something that Prime 92 recommended me to use. All right. Once I'm done, we're going to move on to the next phase of the color parts, and that will be the red, blue, and yellow. Okay, so the next parts that I'm going to be painting is going to be the yellow parts. Now, I went ahead and began painting some part, some of the, pretty much all the yellow parts, the next stage of the color, which would be, of course, orange. Now, I don't know if the camera will show, but this is not orange. I mean, this doesn't, I mean, it looks yellow. But in reality, it's orange, if you could see it that way. I will post detailed photographs of what it would look like. But it's kind of hard to show this like that. Unless I have the, the, right, the right shadow. As you can see there. So I painted all the uh, orange parts yellow. But, I'm now going to do an orange. I'm going to paint the yellow inside the orange and see what results I can do out of this as a pre-shading. I didn't do black. I was going to do brown, but I decided not to do it in favor of this. It's difficult to do this because the yellow and the orange are almost like in the same pigmentation and same contrast. So try not to make a mistake is an understatement here. See that. Now these are the wingtips, of course, or the parts of the uh, of the uh, of the wings. But now that was easy. This one's going to be a little difficult because of how thin this is. And you think that's thin? Check about this one. I got to figure this out. But let's do this for now. See, that's a rough edge right there. But then I'm going to give it an overall pass to blend it in together and see how that comes out. Let's put this to the side and I'm going to try. This one's a. Di I don't know how I'm going to do this.
I don't know how well this is going to look. But I'll give it a couple more passes and see how it looks like. And then we'll do an overall test.